an experience of their heart. It may be very faltering, it might even be very difficult to understand, but it will be very sincere because it is something very real to them. They will tell what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for them or does mean to them. And that is something which is absolute, 100% truth in their heart. For their witnesses, as I said, not only before you, but before God too. Now what we're going to do, we're going to sing a hymn 110, and we remain seated for this. We'll sing 110. We'll sing the first verse, and that will give God an opportunity to get down into the tank. Then after the first verse, Gideon Mean will be the first one to be baptized. And Mr. Fraser, one of our elders here, Bob Fraser, will give her a verse of scripture, and then she will be baptized. When she comes out of the tank, we'll immediately begin in singing the second verse. First verse of hymn number 100, number is in yellow, number 110. Sorry, I don't seem to have number there. 858. I put it down here, but I can't read it. 858. Number 110 in here, and 858 in the other one. And this is the words of it. It is a thing most wonderful, almost too wonderful to believe, that God's own Son should come from heaven to die to save a child like me. It doesn't have to be a child. That's just poetical life. It can be a man, old man, young man. It can be anyone. <coughs> came to die, die to save a person like me. Number 110, the first one. Jesus Christ as your Saviour, 
receive him into your life, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. your confession that Jesus is your Saviour, you received him into your life, I baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Upon your confession of faith that you've received the Lord Jesus as your Saviour, I baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
3, 1 Corinthians 16, verses 13 and 14. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be a man of courage, be strong, do everything in love. I've been a Christian now for about three and a half years, but it's only recently that I've tried to let Christ really work in my life, and it's been a great thrill to see what he's done. I'd just like to unpack my love and that time. John, upon your confession of faith that you've received the Lord Jesus as your Saviour, and you want to obey him in baptism, I baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and stand in the seat. experience. Oh, may they radiate the Lord Jesus Christ, whom they have tonight testified, having received into their lives. And we pray that as a result of their lives, that many others will come to a personal knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, whom we have heard of this evening. For Jesus' sake we ask him. Amen. Amen. Our gracious Father and our God, we would be reminded of thy words to Samuel of old. Man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looketh upon the heart. We have looked upon the outward appearance, but thou, Lord, hast looked upon the heart of all those who have been baptized and all those who are present in this place. And we have sung wonder of all wonders, that through thy death for me, my open sin, my secret sin, can all forgiven be. Gracious Father, we thank Thee that tonight there are many in here for the first time. We bless Thee for the interest of nearby King John School and that many of these who have been baptised go to that school. We recall that many of us, the first time we entered such a service as this, were fearful, were confused, were uncertain. And so we pray that those who are here for the first time may not have come merely and only to deal with a project which they've been given. We thank thee for this. But we pray that thy voice shall have been heard above, over and above all else, that they shall realize their need too. And for those who've just been baptized, our Father, we recall the words of the psalmist, Enter into his courts with praise. Serve the Lord with gladness. And so we pray that these young people, having testified openly to their faith in Jesus Christ, may continue to enter into thy presence with praise and serve thee with gladness until the Lord Jesus Christ shall come again 
We are give the thanks in his own worthy and precious name. Thank you. Our God and Father, we thank you for this testimony of faith, the faith in a risen Lord, the Lord Jesus. We thank you for these six young lives, lives that have been changed from their own way to your way. Lord, may they follow your footsteps. May they walk in your paths. Lord, uphold them, we pray. Keep them from the wicked world. Lord, we ask that they may go forward and witness faithfully to the faith that they have. So, Lord, we commit them to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, we just commend to your, your keeping these six young lives tonight. We thank Lord for that power which has affected their lives, transformed them to young men and women of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank for the transformation that has affected their lives. Now, Lord, that they have committed their lives to you in the witness public in baptism. We pray, Father, as they have agreed, Lord, and the flower tells us that they write news of life. Father, we pray they may go forth to live it as men and women of faith to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, may the lives be that we feel radiate thy love, thy compassion, means to thy saving power and grace, be those may be drawn into thyself. Lord, we commend them to thee and pray for thy protection for them day by day. We know, Lord, that uh, this world, that, Father, is not a place conducive or, or kind or loving to the Christians, but we thank Lord, that have the power to save and to keep in all circumstances, all times. And to Lord, we commend them to thee, we are going to serve thee and live for thee. Father, those who come and gather, Lord, to watch them, to see them at times, we commend everyone to thee, Lord, tonight. We pray, Father, for those who don't know their Savior, Lord, that they may come to have this experience, may have sins forgiven, and peace for thyself. Lord, we pray that your prayers after the Lord come to thy will. May thy name glorify. May each one here tonight go away with a blessing. We just ask these things, Father, and give thee thanks. We all pray in the name of thy Son, O Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord take care of these who have passed through the waters of baptism. May his hand be upon them for good, that they may walk worthy of the vocation wherewith they have been called. That as they have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as a Savior, that they may know him as a guide, a friend, and one who walks and talks with them. No, oh, Father, we would ask that they may show to others that now they belong to Jesus, and Jesus belongs to them. We ask it in thy name, Savior. Amen. Well,